Kazakhstan, the largest country in Central Asia, a region tormented by floods, earthquakes, and droughts. Moreover, climate change is posing problems in the realms of food security, water security, and the desertification of the region's climate. So the question remains, will Central Asian countries be able to prepare themselves? Or will events like the 2010 floods of Kazakhstan continue to cripple the region? The 2010 floods occurred in Kazakhstan's Almighty Oblast, the province tucked in the country's most southeastern corner by Lake Balkash. The province is home to the country's most metropolitan city and some of its most rural areas. With mountainous topography, a semi-arid climate, and sharp seasonal temperature differences, the oblasts Ely and Karatul rivers are both susceptible to flooding. Floods occur when stream heights reach what is known as the flood stage, the water level high enough to overflow the stream's banks and inundate the surrounding areas. This flood stage is typically reached because of seasonal snowmelt and intense precipitation that increase runoff into streams. For Kazakhstan's 2010 floods, abnormally high temperatures and intense rainfall throughout the spring months cause devastating floods, primarily in the Karatal River Basin. In particular, the decimation of the Kizil Agash village after a dam failure caught international attention. In total, the floods cost some 35 million US dollars, forced 11,000 to evacuate and find temporary shelter, killed 49 people, and killed over 6,000 livestock animals. The flood's response was led by a partnership between the International Federation of Red Cross and Red Crescent Societies and Kazakhstan's Emergency Ministry. Together, these two organizations were able to bring life back to normal in roughly three months. However, during the interim, the evacuated had to cope with subpar sanitation, water distribution, and a lack of electricity. While this response exemplifies a coordinated effort between Kazakhstan officials and relief agencies, the reality is Central Asian states like Kazakhstan have insufficient long-term disaster mitigation and preparedness strategies. A Brookings Institute overview of the subject illustrates that countries boast inadequate insurance pools that do not recoup hazards and damages, have social programs that don't fully cushion the economic burden of disasters, and have made little traction to fix or move people away from defective dams like the one that broke at Kills Agash. Into a warmer future, in addition to natural disasters, scarcer water because of less reliable glacial melt, increased vector-borne diseases, and difficulty for pastoral farmers will all plague the region. Notably, Kazakhstan, along with the UNDP, has implemented community-based adaptation programs to promote sustainable farming practices and implement early warning systems so that communities are ready for disasters. However, it is still unclear that countries' mitigation efforts will be enough for what lies ahead.